The natural splendors of Slovenia can leave a nature lover lost for choices. There are beautiful places in every corner of the country, be it the lakes, the mountains, the beaches or even underground caves with living baby dragons. Hi, welcome back to Saji's Travel Diaries where we continue to explore the country of love, Slovenia. Today, we are driving further south from Bled, crossing the country's capital Ljubljana and going below the surface to explore the subterranean magic of Postonia Caves. Later on, we also pay a visit to the largest cave castle in the world at Predjama. So then, what are we waiting for? Buckle up and let's dive in. 40 minutes on road southwest from Ljubljana is the most visited cave of Europe in the small town of Postonia. It is the second longest cave system in the country, extending over a massive length of 24 kilometers, more than 100 meters below the surface. The river Pevka that flows below the caves today has been a silent sculptor of the caves, shaping the limestone rocks for a couple of million years. Open every day of the year, one can enjoy this marvelous beauty by hopping on one of the doors. In the peak season from May to October, tours operate every hour on the hour between 9 am and 6 pm. In the off season, there are only three tours on offer at 10 am, 12 noon, and 3 pm. The 90-minute tour of the cave begins with a joyful and adventurous train ride that zips past several kilometers of the cave system. Get ready to enjoy the ride through a very unique terrain with pokey protrusions from walls all around. Please mind your head as some protrusions hang quite low. drops you off deep inside the cave where the adventure begins. Starting at the foot of Mount Calvary, a hill within the cave, the unidirectional uphill walk has dedicated audio guide points to make sure you are on the right track. Just be sure to not wander away from the group if you are worried about being left alone. Walking up the hill, you cross the tallest stalagmite inside these caves called the skyscraper. It is 16 meter tall and is at least 150,000 years old, making it the oldest stalagmite you'll see on this tour. Caves have seen tourists from as early as 13th century, with the oldest graffiti dating back to at least 1213. But it was not until the early 19th century that it gained popularity as a tourist destination and was first opened to the public in 1819. 
In 1884, it was the first place to be electrified in the whole country ahead of even Ljubljana. Insides of the cave have a constant temperature of around 10 degrees Celsius all year round and proper clothing and footwear are highly recommended. The entire walking trail has non-slip concrete and there are no stairs to ensure easy access for even kids in their strollers. Chambers inside the cave are named based on their appearance. Spaghetti Hall, Winter Hall and Concert Hall are some examples. Within the Winter Hall is the symbol of Postonia Caves, a snow white stalagmite that is about 5 meter tall called Brilliant. Water slowly dripping down the stalagmite deposits a thin layer of flowstone giving the brilliant its shiny white color. It is constantly growing and takes about 30 years to grow just one millimeter. Standing next to it is another baroque ornament rich column. Together they resemble a wedding couple with brilliant representing the bride while the other represents the groom. At the end of this pathway is a small aquarium that houses the living endangered species of aquatic salamander called Ol. The locals prefer to call it human fish because of its fleshy skin color. Legend has it that they were once thought to be offsprings of a cave dragon. These tiny olms have adapted particularly well for life in darkness and are hence very sensitive to light to an extent that it might even harm their lifespan. Keeping that in mind, this video was shot with almost no light. The tour concludes at a large concert hall which is known to have one of the best acoustics in the world. It has a capacity to hold up to 10,000 people and hosts regular Christmas events and music festivals. A concert inside a cave, now that's something cool. Also, a small souvenir shop stands inviting for those seeking to take away something from the caves. Train brings you back to the surface, rounding off a totally unique experience of a lesser known world.
A short drive from the caves of Postonia is another wonder, the world's largest cave castle. Built right into the face of a 120-meter cliff, this is as daunting as it gets. Pradyama Castle is certainly one of Europe's most dramatic castles. This characteristic building is four stories tall and used to be the safe house of the famous knight Eratsim of Pradyama. It is said that from this very castle, Eratsim would go on his plundering expeditions targeting the merchants carrying the riches of the Austrian Empire. He was Slovenia's very own Robin Hood, thus irking the Austrian Empire. When the Austrians besieged the castle, Eratsim hid within the walls comfortably and would often sneak outside for supplies, eluding the waiting forces. Today, the castle serves the purpose of a museum portraying how life within these walls used to be in its days of glory. Visiting the popular district of Postonia, be sure to visit both the caves of Postonia and the Pratyama castle. The entrance ticket to the cave and the castle can be purchased as a package and costs 38.5 euros per person. The castle can be visited at any time on the day of validity but the tour of the cave is valid only for a specific time for which the ticket is purchased. It is best to purchase the tickets online in advance to avoid waiting in the queue. On that note, we say goodbye to Slovenia with some fond memories. We hope you enjoyed this unique side of Slovenia. Be sure to leave a comment and do hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Keep supporting us by subscribing to our channel and enjoy many such complimentary tours around the world. This is Shruti signing off for Saji's Travel Diaries. Until next time, travel, make memories.